Hello, this is Chef John from foodwishes.com with salmon and parchment. That's right, I'm gonna show you how to cook fish encased in paper. It is a really cool trick, relatively easy, visually exciting, and that's about it. All right, to do this, the most important thing you need is this large baker's parchment paper. This is the full size, sheet pan size, all right? You can buy rolls at the grocery store, but this is much easier to use. And if you read the blog post, I'm gonna give you a couple secrets of where you can find that stuff, possibly for free. All right, so I have two sheets. I'm gonna fold those in half. I'm gonna crease it right there. And once it's folded in half, I'm gonna take the side that has the fold, and I'm gonna take scissors, and I'm gonna cut like a half circle. So just like when you were a kid and you used to fold a piece of paper in half and cut the heart shape, that's all you're doing here. So I'm gonna start off in a general circle shape, and then I'm gonna kind of taper it down when I get to the bottom like that. And you can rewind this and check it out. But when you unfold it, you should have basically a heart shape. And you can see we're going to have plenty of room to place our fish and vegetables in there. All right, after your parchment paper is cut, I'm going to drizzle mine with some oil. I'm using olive oil. Any oil will work. You can even use butter. And you're going to cover that thing completely. I flipped it over. I spread it on the other side. And that is ready to go. Okay, at that point, I'm going to place down my 8-ounce salmon center cut filet. I'm going to place it in the middle just past the fold and you'll be able to see the exact position when I pan out. And the beauty of a parchment cooked piece of fish, you can put your vegetable and side dish right in there. So I have some blanched asparagus, I have some boiled potatoes. The asparagus I just boiled for one minute, just to give them a little head start. All right, then you're gonna season it. You can use anything you want. Guess what I used? That's right, I had some pastrami dry rub left over. Beautiful on salmon. All right, so I want you to throw down some spices. I want you to salt it generously. And if you have fresh herbs, throw them in. This is a magnificent technique for fresh herbs, all right? I didn't have anything. Actually, that's not true. I had some thyme, but I didn't feel like thyme. In fact, I didn't even feel like making a thyme pun. And then last but not least, I'm going to give mine just a little drizzle of extra virgin olive oil. And then right here, when we pan out, you can see the exact position. So like I said, the salmon's basically in the middle of the half circle right next to the fold. All right, we're going to fold over the other half. And then the crimping and the pressing begins. So we're going to start the folding on the left, what we're going to call the rounded side, and we're going to end up at the pointier side. So this is not complicated, but I want you to go slow and just fold up about a half inch to an inch of paper and crease it really tightly, and then grab some more about an inch away, fold that over, give it a really, really firm crease. So you're going to keep overlapping and folding, creasing, overlap, fold, crease, overlap, fold, crease. Remember, this has to hold air. So you really want to get it nice and tight. And the reason we started on the rounder end is because when we get to that pointy end, I want a lot of extra paper to seal it. So we're going to keep crimping and folding and folding and creasing and crimping. And you should have a decent amount of extra parchment, as you can see there. I want you to make three or four final folds really, really firmly pressed and creased. And then that little inch or two left over, crease it firmly and tuck it under. And that will, I promise, hold in the air. Once that's prepped, we're going to throw it on a sheet pan. And by the way, those of you that requested close-ups of my hairy hand, there you go. You're welcome. All right, so that's ready for the oven. You can see I did two. We're going to pop those in the center of a preheated 400-degree oven for 15 minutes. And they're going to puff up, and it's going to be spectacular. And, of course, I did something you never want to do, never open the oven while they're cooking. But I had to get a shot. Look at that. All right, 15 minutes later, I pulled them out. And as soon as you pull them out, that's what's going to happen. They deflate. They deflate faster than a Cubs fan's hopes after the first week of the season. Now, after 15 minutes with a piece of salmon that big, it's probably still a little medium rare inside, but you're going to let this sit for five minutes. It's going to continue to steam and cook in that parchment. And five minutes later, you're going to have a moist, delicious, amazing, amazing salmon dinner. Now, for service, you can just unwrap this and start eating, but I think it looks a lot cooler if you sort of cut open the center and kind of tear it open, and all the juices are going to kind of stay in the parchment package. I think it's a lot nicer. I finished mine off with a little bit of fresh lemon. I made a really super light mustard aioli, just very, very light. And then because I did use mustard in the sauce, I topped with some micro red mustard greens. Anyway, there you go, salmon and parchment. Not only is it beautiful, not only is it delicious, it's actually really fun to make. And then there was nothing left to do except eat. Now, I will admit, yours is gonna be better than mine because I took like 10 minutes to set up my last shot. 
Mine was in the parchment like five minutes too long. So it was pretty much cooked through. There wasn't really any sort of, you know, pink in the middle like I generally like my salmon. But it was really, really good. Still very moist. Yours is going to be even better. So check out the blog post. I'm going to tell you how to get parchment paper. And then the rest is up to you. Head over to foodwishes.com for all the ingredient amounts. And like I said, lots more information as usual. And as always, enjoy. Enjoy.